Hey guys, how's it going? It's day two and we're off to Steve Pierce's. You probably haven't heard of Steve Pierce because he's like stealth, he's under the radar, but he's probably the most recorded or one of the most recorded bass players here in the UK, if not the world. You'll find out about more about it in the interview, but he's just, he's recorded with Sting. Um, who's Steve recorded with? Everybody. Tom Jones, Herbie Hancock. Yeah, everybody. So we're gonna, and he's recorded like films with Danny Elfman. He did the Quantum of Solace and the uh, James Bond film. Like just super cool stuff. So we're gonna go see Steve now, and then we're, and then Sandy Beals, the bass player who was playing for One Direction, is coming to the, uh, coming to the flat to hang out with us guys, and we're going to record another video this afternoon, which you'll obviously get to check out. See you in a bit. Now you no longer let me in. Superstition now And now I'm ready I'm listening hey. You used to satisfy This drive of mine Now it's only Valentine Yes it is You used to hold my case For days and days Now you're quick to look away Speak your What do we think about London driving, guys? I'm not coming here. I'm Boom. never coming here again. Never! <laughs> to come out for we'd finished for the day um, we did Steve Pierce this morning we did oh we did uh, Sandy Beals this afternoon Sandy was awesome so Sandy I probably told you about 10 times in this vlog video already it's really hard to remember what I told you hopefully Gav will edit it out <laughs> so I'm not telling you like 10 times over who we've interviewed but anyway we interviewed uh, Sandy Beals this morning this afternoon sorry and um, he was the bass player for One Direction, so he did Hot One Beats. Direction for... Hot Beats. Hot Beats still be. on oh yeah, they're just on hiatus, aren't they? Yeah, he was uh, the, the bass player for One Direction for four and a half years. So, played in the, pretty much the biggest band in the world for four and a half years. Just amazing stories as well. He tells you about his rig and the tour and how he auditioned for the band and, you know, and, and the whole the whole shebang. It's super interesting and he brought some really, really sexy uh, Ernie Ball music man basically. Anyway, so we're in, uh, we're gonna hit the Donna Kebab. I'm having a Donna Kebab, what are you having, Gav? Mixed. Mixed Kebab. Is that Donna meat and? Mixed kebab. What are you going for, Lawrence? I'm having a chicken, chicken wrap. Chicken wrap, what are you having? Fish and chips. Do you want to go fish and chips? So, yeah, let's do this. Right, kebab over. It's time to go to the pub. Hey guys, how's it going? Here we are at the end of day. What day is it, guys? Two. Day two. Um, oh, by the way, I should say that this isn't all mine. This, is, oh, this was my kind of beer. This isn't my whiskey. This is Gav's monkey shoulder, whatever the heck that is. And uh, Lawrence's unopened bottle of wine. I'm moving them out of here. It's bad. 
bad representation. Um, but yeah, so we just we're at the end of day two. But you're you're going to be watching these um, all a day late because we have to obviously after the day we have to get all the footage that we've got together, including all, obviously all the um, the interview footage. So we've done four interviews now. We've done um, Guy Pratt. We did Stephen Rettenbacker, and today we did Steve Pierce and Sandy Beals. And so we obviously we're editing those. But we're also having to edit these vlogs as well. That takes a crap load of work. And then the uploading them is a completely other you know, nightmare that we have to deal with because it's obviously a, a chunky file. And, and the connection that we've got here is, is pretty crummy. So that's what we're doing right now. And we've just made some notes about what needs taken out the first video. What would you, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, apparently, some wrong things. I mentioned speedos at one point. Obviously, we've got a hot tub. You'll have seen that in video one. Never mentioned speedos, so that's coming out of the video. Um, not that we wear speedos or anything like that. I just <laughs> it was just yeah. You don't want that in any video, do you? So never mention speedos. And uh, what else were we taking out? Me repeating myself. Yeah, me. Oh, I, I went on a bit. Me repeating myself a hundred times. So we're taking all of that stuff out and then just get, putting the good stuff in. But yeah, so we're at the end of day two. It's went really, really well. No hiccups. No severe um, scheduling disasters or anything like that. And and everything seems to be running pretty smoothly. Although we nearly got clamped today and had the car um, impounded. Uh, because the, the interview with Sandy Beals, we got a bit carried away. If you don't know, well, I'll have mentioned it in this video before, but Sandy's the, uh, the bass player for, for One Direction, or has been for the last four and a half years. So we're like super intrigued. We're like, well, what's, that, what's that like? What's it like gigging with the biggest band in the world? He was telling us all these stories. And, and he got here at 3 p.m. and left here at half seven. And then we realized that, um, yeah, we realised that the car had to be moved at six. So the car's down the road, and, and Lawrence and I decided to, we were panicked and uh, to go and get the car. But unfortunately, I found out how unfit I was, as Lawrence, this is no word of a lie either, took off down the road like Linford Christie and left me lagging behind, <laughs> panting like an old dog. So, yeah, I definitely need to... Uh, to hone, hone the fitness skills. I need to uh, maybe spend some uh, less time in the shed with the base and get in the gym. But the, but the it was cool. The car didn't get impounded. It wasn't clamped. We got it out and we went for a, uh, well, I went for a dirty doner kebab. And, uh, and that was it. So tomorrow we've got, Lauren, who have we got tomorrow? Tomorrow we have the incredible Mo Foster. Mo Foster, who is the London session legend, really, isn't it? Yeah, he's like the, the guy who did everything, everything, everything he possibly imagined. Yeah, and he's a super great storyteller. He's written books as well, hasn't he? He's written books. He's just, he's like, 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 he's um, which is a great shop over in London and um, we're going to check out some bases there and possibly get some footage there and hopefully, fingers crossed, I want to hook up with the uh, Martin who who make, he actually makes, he's got a, a workshop there as well where he makes his own bases and, and just getting some tips for, you know, for you guys for buying bases or, well, well, we'll see what happens tomorrow and then who have we got tomorrow night? Yeah. Phil Mann tomorrow night. And then Phil Mann is coming tomorrow night. Phil Mann is, he's got to be one of the busiest bass players in the world. He does like, I think, 363 gigs a year or something like that. He's, he's just got a crazy, crazy schedule. Plays shows and sessions and, and he's also, he goes out and he teaches at, at the Players School of Music over in Florida, Jeff Berlin's old place. He does that, so that'll be really cool. And he also, Phil also teaches for um, the Academy, the Scots Bass Lessons he does. At live seminars, live stream seminars for us as well there, and they always go down an absolute storm. So tomorrow is going to be super super fun, and and hope. Uh, who's what? Phil, yeah, Phil's he's also a great author as well. He did a, a book on chord tones, 
and he's about to bring out his second book as well, so you're going to learn all about that in the interview. So other than that, guys, and I never finish these vlogs like that, like this, take it easy, and I'll see you in the shed. So hold my gaze for days